on, guys. I think we're ready. Hey! What's up, everybody? We need that uh, confirmation that you can hear us before we can get going here. Yes, can you hear us? One, two, one, two. Well, welcome to Friday. Hopefully the mics are working. We'll have to wait till somebody replies, but they're a little bit behind us. I see the lights flashing. Yeah, that's a good sign. So it's definitely getting a signal from us. Somewhere down the line it's working. Yep. Yep. All okay, right. Good. Thanks, Nismo SM514. Well, welcome into our Friday live stream. I think it's every other Friday. Yeah, but that's a safe way to do it. Yeah, it's... um. Well, Matt Perkins says we got an echo, but I don't know why we have an echo. Um, is it a bad echo? Yeah, is it really bad? Like, should we worry about it or should we just ignore it? Are you going to leave? What if I get closer in on the mic? <laughs> <laughs> it's always something. Y'all lucky y'all have sound. All right, good. Thanks, Leo. <clears throat> so, here we are. Another Friday. It's beautiful outside. It, it is outside for a change. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Went outside uh, for about five minutes. Yeah, I had to go do a little walk around. I walked around the parking lot, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys something just to kick this thing off right out the gate. I want to know in the comment section if y'all know what this vehicle is. What is it? Do you know? Kind of high pitched, Matt says. Are you on your phone, Matt, or are you on a PC or a laptop? I don't know why we would be high pitched. I don't want somebody to if he's got the if he's got the the volume all the way up on his phone. Yes. Yeah. I mean, do I need is it high pitched in a way like turn the the gain down a little bit on the on our side? Um, anyway, look at this interior. I need to know what y'all think. Um, what vehicle do you think this is? <clears throat> Because I had to double check the badge on the back of it to make sure I was looking at the right car. Um, Matt's on his phone, so he might have the volume cranked up too high on his phone. Yeah, dude, you're listening to you listening to our radio voices through a damn tin can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, well, you cheat. You work at Nissan. Of course, I didn't know. Yeah, it's a Nissan Sentra. Um, Which is crazy that it is that nice. Yeah. Pretty wild. Um, I I was shocked. I, I think that one of the things that was really impressive to me is that they put that interior in the car. The door cards have the leather. Mm -hmm. The dash has the leather. You know, it's a Sentra, so you fully expect it to have, like, a hard plastic dash. No. Nah, Nissan in 2024, they're different. Yeah, they've got, uh, they're doing some good things. Yeah, they r raised the price on cookie tail lights so they could put leather in Sentras. <laughs> Yeah, and he's about SM five fourteen. He said newer model looks pricey, but no, that is the Sentra. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think that one was twenty seven thousand dollars. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, it had, sun, it had the bells and whistles. I, I looked at it and was checking it out, and it was really hot because of the sun, so I didn't get inside of it too much. But I mean, I could see people looking at that interior and saying, "Wow, there's a lot going on with the black and the brown." But I mean, if you want to make a statement, if it was black, if it was a solid black, it'd be boring. Yeah, I. Uh, My opinion. I recently took out a 24 Rogue that had the tan interior, a little bit darker than this, mm. more of a, uh, I think, tobacco, richer, yeah, tobacco, I like that, a richer tone, um, and I love it. I mean, I like the black interior, but it's almost boring. If it's, yeah, if it's all black, it's just, you know, it just kind of like washes into yeah boredom. Yeah. My um, opinion. I'm going to be doing a video on the 24 Rogue here soon. I got a bunch of shots of it, video. I just got to put it together. It'll happen one day. But first up, um, right after this video, you got to stay tuned because I'm going to talk about the 24 Nismo Z. And I found this article from Road and Track. Um, and the editor says, we were all weary of the 68,290 Nissan charge, charging thousand dollars per ec per extra horsepower over the base version then we drove it mm -hmm. I, I that that was hard to read yeah they lost me like four words in basically they they're saying that they were wary of the sixty eight thousand dollar price tag they basically charged a thousand dollars per extra horsepower you get 20 horsepower 
twenty thousand dollar price bump. Who reviewed that? What was Road and Track. Yeah, I don't like those guys. Well, they had very nice things to say about the Z. I still don't like them. If um, you pick up a Road and Track, they're so far up the behind of Corvettes and Porsche and BMW. That's all they want to talk they about. They tested. They te- They were also testing a Corvette, a um, a Ford, and something else. But they were very, they were like, yeah, this isn't as, as fast as a Corvette. And it's like, well, yeah, but you probably can't drive the Corvette around the track as fast as the Z. Right. I don't know. I, you know. Um, here's a shot of the Nismo Z at the state capitol. That is the Washington State Capitol building in the background there. I have yet to be in there. Um, so my youngest child, mm-hmm. I was at home editing photos, and he told me, he said, field trip. They went to a field trip there, and he, dude, he talks about it all the time. All my kids, building? yeah. All my kids have been there. I've seen pictures. It looks gorgeous with all the marble, and they have a. I just found out they have a deli in there, and the lunches are super cheap. Really? Yeah, but you have to get in there before too. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to take a little lunch road trip soon. And go to the deli at the Capitol. Yeah, uh, I went over to the Capitol. I had the car for two days. Went over to the Capitol twice. That was my uh, middle child, Ephraim. His recommendation: Let's go to the Capitol and take some photos. I was driving around downtown, couldn't find anywhere. Went to the Capitol, good call. That car just, I think the contrast of that car and old concrete government buildings mm-hmm. was like, mm. It just says power. It does. It says, Mess with you us. can't control me, but I can control you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we'd love to know what you think about the Nismo Z, what you think about the Z at all. But right now, I want to know, Tom... What have you, what what would you say the consensus of the week has been? Have you been busy? Yeah, I've been busy up until today. Today was pretty slow yeah. light on the orders, but um, it's been busy. Sometimes it's good to have a down day, get called up. It's something to look forward to because I'm swamped from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I get caught up. Mondays are killer. Yeah, but that's good. I mean, Mondays are killer. go by faster. Yeah. And I appreciate um, the Fridays because it's kind of like I can take – care of other things that have been putting off all week right 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 yeah just wind down a little bit mm-hmm. um you guys uh who's a fan of the micro do you like the, have you looked at the micros in the past the old ones yeah from like the 1990s and the early yeah. 2000s yeah i'm a fan of any um micro car right i like really small cars yeah um just for the pure practicality of them yeah i i, I was i was when I was looking at the Micra, I was thinking about, you know, what what is one car I would have? If I could have any Nissan and any of the history, I think I would I'd probably pick the GTIR just because practicality mm-hmm. and fun. You could, I mean, it kind of has it all without being too much of anything. Right. Um, except probably can't find parts for it. That'd be the only big thing with that car. Um, You'd have to have a hookup. Yeah, I know a place, so. But uh, Nissan threw these pictures out into the world. Um, this is going to be the Micra EV, which is going to be allegedly the cheapest electric car on the market that's not made in China. That um, Well, at least that Nissan has. I don't know about um, mm. overall. But the headlights on it, let me go back to that first image because you can see it. There was a concept that Nissan put out years ago, probably back in the mid 2000s, late to mid, yeah, somewhere in there, um, that there was a hatchback they did that had like a full blown like body kit on it. And it was really futuristic looking, but it had these same style headlights on it. Um, and I thought it was really cool that they sort of adopted that. And this also goes along with the fact that Nissan said that they're no longer going to do, you know, they're not going to shove the same girl in every car, no matter what, Mm -hmm. even if it doesn't fit the, the styling of the right. car, um, which while we're on that, the styling of the cars, um, I, I mispronounce it every time, Tom. How do you say it? When you, when you the the um, the Nissan Qashqai. Qashqai, yeah. So Nissan just released information on the upcoming Qashqai, which we won't see in the U.S. market, but I thought it was a, a interesting thing to talk about just because of the styling. Once again, unique. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that Nissan has that has that same front end, grill, all that business. It's a hybrid. I was looking at it. It looks like, I didn't go too far down the rabbit hole on it, but it looks like it's sort of like in the realm of 
the the kicks, the rogue sport, right in there. Mm-hmm. Not quite rogue fancy. It's funny because the rogues are fancy now. When they came out with the rogue sport, right. the rogues, <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Um, but yeah, what we got going on over here? I have GTI R 100%. Lots of love for the GTI R. Uh, Oob Gonzo, personally, a performance Z over the Nismo for the manual gearbox. So I have a question for you. Have Cash you K. have you driven the Nismo Z with the automatic transmission? That was probably the thing I was most interested in. Because um, you were like, it doesn't need a manual, right? Dude, it's, it is wild. Yeah. How it's, you know, you, you, I get that, you know, I'm not controlling, I'm not in contact with the vehicle sentiment that everybody puts out there, Mm -hmm. but it does it, it does what you want to do. And, 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 and and in sport plus mode, um, it just does all kinds of crazy stuff. It drives it better than I (laughs) would. That's the thing. And also I kind of wonder if the preference for, a manual over an automatic has something to do with like your age. Cause you know, I really don't have any interest in stick shifts anymore, unless it's a little teeny tiny economy car. Yeah. I mean, I think what'll be interesting with the automatic transmissions is if, um, I, I'll be interested to see the reliability of them, how, how they progress in three or four or five years once some people get them out there and start really beating on them. Mm -hmm. Of course, the the Nismo Z does have improved cooling um, for the engine and transmission. So they, you know, Nismo put all the technology in there to take care of potential issues, which he's an enemy of everything. Right. Um, But, yeah, stay tuned after the video. We're going to stop talking about the Nismo Z now, give you no reason to watch it if you don't, um, if I keep talking about it. Uh. 24 G- GTR. Did you ever go look at it? No. Okay, we had one in the shop, and I just wanted to throw this interior shot up. I didn't take this photo. This is a Nissan stock photo. But um, the car that we had here in our shop, it was red and had this sort of super light, gray, almost white interior. Mm. It looked so good. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> um. I wanted to get inside of it, but I didn't want to get inside of it. And also another thing about that, one of the really telling pieces of that new GTR is the uh, daytime running lights with a little hexagon pattern on them. Oh, really? I don't know why that looks cool, but it does. That Japanese, uh, that has a proper name for that, doesn't it? Let me have a quick peek of that picture. I can't help you out. Okay, yeah. can't make it any bigger. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, it's really nice. It was interesting to see it in person after seeing it on the photos, but I think that the, the... Front bumper revamp on the 24 is a going away present for it is rad. Yeah, it looks pretty cool in that photo. I love it. Um, But, all right. So, we're going to take a break here to go to the bathroom real quick. Not really. We're not taking a break. Just joking. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right. So, yeah, speaking of the cash guy, um, who was it that said it's Cash K? Let me see here. Yeah, Leo Getz. I don't know because I had a, a cousin come over from the UK, and we have a 2013 Rogue. And he goes, oh, you got a Nish- Nissan Cash Kai. But maybe that's just the way he pronounced it. Maybe. Yeah, it might be one of those things, too, where it's, you know, dialect. Wherever you're at, you may say it in different ways. It, it's like some word for, like, isn't it like an, an animal, that, like a pack animal that carries a lot of weight on it or something like that? I guess uh, I could look that up. Yeah, look it up. Um, Oob Gonzo, uh, if, if you have a chance to drive the Z, I mean, I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people at dealerships aren't going to have an opportunity to drive one. Um, but if you ever do, or at least ride in one with a manager or something, do it. Uh, he says he has a 95 S14 that was automatic. He swapped it over to manual. I mean... Yeah, the, the the automatic transmission that was in your S14 is nothing like the one in the Z. Um, and then 24 Sentra. See, you really did cheat. You got a new Sentra. You knew exactly what interior that was. You, ah, illegal. All right, so you guys ready for what a Kashkai is? It's a migratory Turkic-speaking people 
of the Zagros Mountains situated east of the Bakhti Bakhtiari. So uh, Kashkai is a people. All right. So I apologize for saying that it was a pack <laughs> animal that carried a lot of weight. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, uh, Gigi's Garage just hopped in the uh, chat. If y'all watched our What the Truck Wednesday video, Gigi stole the show. Yes, came he bombarded in. us. <laughs> <laughs> no one else had a chance. Yeah. Um, so I'm glad you asked, Tom. It's been a busy week. And yes. <laughs> that's the payback. elephant in the room. That's payback for like a year ago. <laughs> um, so I don't know how many parts I've added photos to. I have been on product photo streak the past two weeks. Um, this was one that we got in. I thought it was pretty cool. It was a Japanese AC warning label oh cool literally um, yeah i i don't i don't know what any of it says except for 134a <laughs> um so hopefully there's nothing important on there that i need to know about mm. like you don't google lensed it and translated it i could have i still could um now when you guys get done watching the z video that's coming up next if you're looking for something else cool to watch um on youtube look this up you ready it's nissan customize Disaster Support Mobile Hub. I watched that. Have you seen that? It's so cool. I had saw some pictures of it a while back at one of the. They took it to one of the shows, and um, I watched that video, and it was really neat seeing all the pieces of it actually in action. Right. And then at the end, where they showed them kind of putting everything back up inside of it, yeah. the whole back of it going. I was like, Yeah, that's wild. It, I mean, it seems pretty impractical, but it's a cool concept and a cool idea that you know maybe that makes sense. And somewhere for someone. Yeah, Nissan's uh, Nissan Japan YouTube channel is far better than Nissan USA, in my opinion. Because I went to the Nissan USA one, it was like just a bunch of ads, kind of. 90% of it was just ads. Yeah, yeah. And the Japanese one is a lot more in-depth. Okay, yeah. And then what was the other, there was another video on there you sent to me. The, um, it was like an X-Trail, but I think they called oh, yeah, it something else. Yeah, it's uh, X-Trail... Um, crawler concept. Yeah, it was pretty cool because I was I was watching it and I was like, it, it went from all those like studio dark shots where you see the body lines and things, and it went to where it was outside driving. And I was like, wait a second, is this real nice? It, it's yeah, a, it was like okay, it went from being realistic <laughs> to a video game real quick. Yeah, it was. Uh, that thing looks cool. I like the wrap that they have yeah. on, or you know, if it's. Uh, it looked like it had undercoat sprayed on it, like you know, like that textured undercoat kind of stuff. Yeah, that's what that a disaster hub yeah. has on it, too. Yeah, because they showed it as, like, a protective coating for the outside. of the, Yeah, which, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, Chucky Sands, happy Friday once again. Here, late, but always here. Um, and Ub Gonzo, I, I'm, I'm just giving you crap about, you know, cheating. I just, I, you had an unfair advantage, though, let's be real. You didn't win anything. It was, it was <laughs> yeah. just for fun. There were no rules to the contest. It was just the conversation piece. Um, while we're on concepts, the last live stream, we talked about all a bunch of concepts that Nissan had. And one of them was this um, Hyper Tour, which was a van that was just wild looking. And I, um, I really didn't think that it was a real physical being. But apparently it is. Oh, that's the one I thought was like the quest from the future. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Look at those doors. Yeah, the seats in it. The there were some interior shots with the with the concept, but now I know it's probably a real photos of the actual vehicle. Uh, one thing I picked up watching those uh, Nissan videos on YouTube, um, they were talking about some EV school, and had these kids in like a little you know, electric um, Arias, like kitty-sized ones going around a track. And they were saying that any person born after 2013, if they buy a new Nissan when they're of age, their only choices are going to be electric. Hmm? Which, we'll see if that... We'll get back to you um, when these kids that are born in yeah. 2013 turn driving age. Yeah, that's a... I, I just, I, I have a hard... I have no issue accepting it, but I just have a hard time imagining it. Well, there's so many gas-powered vehicles out there. They'll have options. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of warming up to electric stuff, though. Yeah. What, what do you... I mean, are there any concepts that you guys hope Nissan comes out with? Like the IDX, do you all hope that they bring that back? <laughs> um, 
I don't know if there's, I mean, I think that some of the, um, there's bits and pieces on some of the concepts that I'm like, I hope that they put that in something. Mm -hmm. Um, but some of these, some of the concepts are wild. Like this, this hyper tour I just showed, I don't think that they will ever come out with that exact vehicle. Right. But if they come out with something, I mean, obviously there's something that has a, a chassis and a body that's similar because they made the, the real one. But it's probably just based off of one of the Japanese vans because they do have some cool vans over there. Yeah. I don't know why we don't get those. Actually, I do because nobody buys them. Right. Because every yeah, time... you see a Quest on the road, you're like, oh, you don't see many of those. Yeah, we had a... I think the last time we had a new Quest, it was on the showroom. It lived here forever. And I remember going out and looking at it, and it, I mean, it was a super nice vehicle. Nice. I was like, man, I kind of want a van now. Do you remember when the Quest had that real, like, skinny front to rear glass panel in the roof? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought about getting one. They, we had one when I first started working here that came in, and there was a version of the Quest that had red interior. Mm -hmm. And it oh, had I, a, I think you showed me a picture with a red dash. It had a red dash. Wow. And we're talking red, not like a deep you know, maroon or merlot. Right. If you're a premium edition. <laughs> uh, I like how car car makers do that with their models, how they'll have, you know, if, if the base, if the Sentra is white, it's just white. But if it's a Z, it's, it's, uh, it's Alpine slay and white. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alpine something. mist. Yeah. Something, something, some fancy. Mountain Dew flavor. It costs more to make that name. <laughs> we right. had to pay somebody to come up with that. the exact same. <laughs> right. Right. Um, yeah. These live streams are tough. You think so? Yeah. I'm Wait. running out of ideas. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see what everyone's doing this weekend. I know Russell's got something special planned because <laughs> this, this guy's having a birthday. I am. How old I are you turning? 50? 42. 42. I can't wait till I'm 42. Yeah. 42. I, I don't, I still don't feel like I'm 42. I mean, other than the fact that I get injured really easily. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, yeah, I, I still feel like maybe I'm 22, 24. Mentally, how old do you feel? 13. <laughs> okay, good. Keeps you young. <laughs> oh, man. Chucky Sands, I, I'd be interested to know what you think about what the Truck Wednesday upcoming video next week. We haven't done it. We still got to do it. I think we had a plan, though. Yeah, we can talk about the hoses that I sourced for the uh, the Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, uh, I feel like we beat the dead horse with the Frontier. Although I want yeah, to do a, need to back off of the Frontier I want to do a Frontier video every week. It's so easy. <laughs> I love it so much. Like, I just, it's like, oh, let's do this. But, yeah. And I don't, you know, um, Leo says, I remember the GTR concept from a Renault Megane chassis. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know what that is, but Renault Megane, do you know what that is? Yeah, if I remember correctly, it's like a two-door hatchback. Yeah. Around 2015. Has Nissan been in bed with Renault that long? No. That's like nine years ago? Something like that, yeah. Nine, ten years ago. Yeah, they must have because I think there was some relation with the Rogue and the um, the Rogue and the uh, Ren Renault as well. Probably, I feel like all these companies are in bed with each other somehow. Everybody's in bed with each other except for Fisker. <laughs> right. Um, man, I feel. Did you guys hear? And I, have you seen a Cybertruck in real life yet? No, I've seen two of them now. And they are terrible. Like, I do not even want to... Like, it doesn't even interest me to look at it. It's just... Yes, it does. No. You're not curious So to peek in the window? Listen. Oh, I'd love to see the interior because I've seen pictures of it. And it's... The dash is a mile long. Have you seen it? No. Yeah. Where the... where Because the, the windshield is such a sharp slope uh -huh. that the dash has to go like... All, it's it's crazy. But um, they, they were having an issue. So, the... It's fly-by-wire accelerator. Right. So, it's mounted to the floor, you know. It's hinged okay. this way, and it's got, like, a brushed aluminum cover on it that is coming off, and when it comes off, it sticks the, the pedal all the way to the floor, oh, geez. like 100%. So I was like, man, that's a I, – I just feel like everything I hear about Teslas is that, you know, the, the, the craftsmanship of them 
is not that great. But the, the I mean, obviously they're engineered to be they're, they're um they got some stuff going for them. Obviously, mm-hmm. a lot of people love them. I had a buddy work for Tesla uh, down in the SF Bay area. He was only there for a few years, and then he got out. Yeah. Now he's working for GM Autonomous Vehicles. <coughs> okay. It's 256, guys. Uh, Nismo Z video is going to go live here in a few minutes. Um, and then we'll, we'll hop over there. Uh, I'll, have the, I'll have the chat up on that. i got to set as a premiere. Um, Nismo exhaust on a frontier. Dude, we still haven't done one. And I'll just tell you right now, and I hope somebody from my sales department watches this later or now, you guys need to come on. We're ready to put Dude, some stuff on some trucks. Just, do it. just grab one. Get the keys. Well, I mean, you know, Sean or JB, if you're watching, <laughs> just make it happen. Yeah, let's go. Let's take some risks. Yeah, let's put uh, let's put an Ismo exhaust on a Pro 4X. Just, just the exhaust. I just want to hear it. Yeah. I want to hear an Nismo exhaust on that V6 motor. Is it going to sound good? I mean, it's got to. It's Nismo. Nismo's never gone wrong. Never went wrong. Except when they put that automatic in the Z per everybody on the internet. (laughs) I find myself always relating negativities back to people on the internet. Well, these are people that don't have faces, and you can just blame them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to... If you're offended then you're part of the problem. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. All right, guys. Let's see. I am going to get... I am going to get my computer set up over here for this uh, other video we got coming up. You guys better say your farewells and ask your questions now. There's six uh, people. Three minutes left. All right. There we go. Look at that Capitol building. Look at that font. That's like the the varsity dude. Yeah. Font. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, I think that's it. Yeah. Um, we're going to jump off of here. You guys. Have a great weekend. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. You should definitely um, tune in to the Z video. Check it out. It's, it'll change your life, or at least the way you think. Tom hasn't seen it. He doesn't know. <laughs> I've seen your other work, though, Russell. It's all good. Chucky Sand says, risk. Let's go. I Let's agree, man. Maybe we just get get the keys and then just tell we'll service. Just, we'll just take it over to your house, and we'll put the exhaust on at your house. We'll take it downtown, park it at the exhaust shop with the exhaust in the back, and we'll throw the keys at somebody and be like, we don't know what happened. Just build it to Olympia Nissan. Yeah. Sublet. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to hop off here. Thank you so much for showing up. Enjoy your weekend. (laughs) Be safe. All right.